Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season one, race four of the RHG Cup Series. We are here for the FNX 600 and also known as the RHG Cup Series All-Star Race. We're going to look at the car field here today. Let's get in some driver facts. Fa facts. <laughs> facts for this race. Ryan Newman starts alongside Austin Dillon here on the front row for this race. Ryan Newman's first pole of the season. Let's see if he can go ahead, put on a good show, and maybe get his first one of the season. The Bush brothers starting right by each other, so we'll see how that goes today. Maybe they'll work together. Around mid-pack, we have Cameron Perkins. We'll see what he can do. Uh, as your Queen's 500 winner, so hopefully you can get a good race going. Plus, Hendrick teammates running, f are, are three of the four Hendrick teammates run right by each other. And then Jimmy Johnson is only one car away from him. Rounding out the field today is Brad Keselowski. Hopefully he can make up some advantage and maybe get out towards the front for the rest of this race. Please welcome your Grand Marshals for the FNX 600 and the All-Star Race. And, of course, supporting the troops this race. Please welcome Adam Sandler and Kevin James. Back there, Owen. Come on, Zip. the troops. Owen sees. Gentlemen! What a command, and we'll get to our race facts for this race. And our race facts are there will be eight laps, no stages. Ryan Newman is on the pole. This is the all-star race. The winner will receive $50,000 and a waiver to the playoffs. And we also have a 0% chance of rain, so that is amazing. With that being said, we are going to send you off to the commercial break, everybody. See the green flag drop for the start of the race? championship Ryan let's get this win and we are officially underway here in Talladega and what is Boyer doing he's heading down pit let's go over the radio real fast so you hardly put fuel in the thing and the tires are on the opposite sides what the heck bro unfortunate news for the 14 but we'll continue out to the front of the pack Kevin, just so you know, Boyer kind of just pitted because he didn't have fuel in the thing. What the heck just happened, bro? Logano's going to have a great run here coming into turn one. And now Logano puts his bumper on the back bumper of Newman just a little too much there. Newman's definitely going to the wall, but I don't know if it's going to be good enough to throw a yellow. Newman and Dylan are going to need a bit of repairs on the front there. Meanwhile, Boyer finally starting to pull off the pit road here. Meanwhile, we are on board with the 22 of Joey Logano, seeing what he can do here. Heading on to the back stretch, and oh, look at this! Logano out to the lead here, but Kyle was moving to the inside. And he's got Martin Tripp here and Eric Jones and Danica Patrick working with him. He should take the lead here. Also, Team Hendrick 
They formed a long line back here. We'll see if they catch up quick. Kyle Busch to the leader, and it also looks like Bowman might have a little bit of damage on the right side of his car right now. He's on your outside, two cars on your outside, one coming on your inside, Joey. Here comes Danica to the outside of the 18. The 22 is now falling back to third. And as you can see, this big draft line on the inside might start to be breaking up as uh, Hamlin moves to the middle lane. Multiple drivers run on that inside lane, such as Christopher Bell, Jason Sharp, Kurt Busch, Jimmy Johnson, Alex Bowman, William Byron, Chase Elliott, Matt Benedetto, Austin Legendary, Corey LaJoy, Chris Buescher, and Brad Keselowski all on the inside lane. Jones made a really risky move there, trying to go to the outside to get in Danica's draft. For the first time in his young career, Christopher Bell will lead in the RHG Cup Series. There might be a little bit of a side draft going between Kyle Busch and Danica Patrick. No oh, trouble all the way around! Looks like he was just up on the wall too much there. Hard drive into the wall for the 10. Caution's out, Eric. Caution's out. Come on, our teammate just messed us up. Wow. Well, the yellow flag does fly here. Um, about halfway into lap one. So Kyle Busch will be starting first off the restart. It was a great run right there for him. It did get a little chaotic up at the front. So if we went under green enemy longer, it could have been bad up there at the front. But it did look like Almirola got a little contact with the wall, forcing him down the track just a little bit. Um, and of course, the, he most likely wouldn't have come down the track and wrecked if Boyer wasn't there. Boyer coming off pit was actually in his draft. And he just, you know, it happens. He gave him a little tiny bump. And that's going to go ahead and uh, most likely end Almirola's hopes. Uh, we might see a couple pit stops roll through for Ryan Newman in the six car. He has a little bit of damage. Same for the three car of Austin Dillon. And Bowman actually seems to have some car, uh, damage on the right side of his car. So we'll see if he comes on pit. Anyway, without further ado, we'll be right back after this commercial break. My gosh, today is the absolute worst day of my gosh darn life. I didn't get to be the pace car for this race. Hey, are you are you having a bad day? Yeah, idiot, what does that look like? Well, when you're having a bad day, here, try a Snickers. A Snickers? Oh, wow, my day is so much better. Thanks a lot, um, Snickers. You're welcome. Uh, well, Snickers, the official candy bar, not candy, but candy bar of the NASCAR RHG Cup Series. Oh, wow, I'm just going to continue on with my day. Hopefully, it's better. Like I said, Snickers, the, not the official candy, but the official candy bar of NASCAR. RHG Cup Series, almost forgot to say that. Ryan Newman pitting for damage on the front of his car, and Alex Bowman pitting for damage on the side of his 88, uh, or number 88 Chevrolet. We'll see how that pit stop rolls out. Eric Almirola with a DNF for too much damage on the front of that car. We'll be back after a quick commercial break. Look, little, little. Oh, hey, hey, I didn't see that. Of the hazelnut spread M&M's Toyota Camry number 18 for Kyle Busch. Yeah, I brought this baby to victory lane at Pulse Motor Speedway. Well, anyways, uh... You are watching the All-Star Race, the FNX 600 here at Talladega Super Speedway. And I would just like to say, M&M's the official candy of the NASCAR RHD Cup Series. Well, I'll catch you later. Look for Kyle Busch in the Interstate Batteries, number 18 in this race. Goodbye, everybody. And the, and the green flag back out here at Talladega Super Speedway here. Restart on that four of it. And that number 88 starting in kind of an awkward position back there. We'll see what he can do. We are back on the onboard cam this time with the number 18 here. And he has the field clear. Heading on to the back stretch. What the heck? How'd that happen? The 61 of Cameron Perkins started outside the top 10 off of that restart. And he is now in fourth place. Looks like he got the, he, uh, he, uh, 
Perkins has a really good side draft with Christopher Bell here. Perkins almost to the bumper of Bush here. Perkins making a move now. And the 61 blowing right by Bush here. Your Queens 500 lead or winner out here at the front of the pack. Can you take advantage of this? Oh, Perkins getting loose. Not good for the 61 crew. Two hard wall hits this race. Some people aren't going to be able to make that move. They're going to get involved. Jones should get involved here. Only a few cars are making out of this one. Three cars involved so far. I actually make it four. Looks like Harvick may be involved. Yeah, multiple cars starting to get involved here. Perkins is definitely not okay. Harvick almost on his side. Look at Austin Dillon. Cameron, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Two cars about to go outside of the track, and they're keeping it green for the rest of the lap. Perkins is out of the track right now. Harvick out of the track. Timmy Hill about to go out. Three drivers in the infield, my gosh. Kyle Busch still leading the field here. On board with the 95 pushing Bush here. And it looks like Bell is going to push Bush to the line. And red flag, ladies and gentlemen. That has to be the biggest wreck of the season. 21 cars involved. Eric Jones involved in the wreck, but he only has, uh, he has heavy damage on the front of that car that should be fixable. But if we go down, we look at these 20 cars involved right here. We see Jason Sharp, Denny Hamlin flip, Cameron Perkins, I have no idea if he's okay, he's probably not. Timmy Hill flipped, Harvick flipped, look in the infield, we got Dylan flipped, Kenseth flipped, Junior flipped, Boyer's out here. Bad day for Stuart Hawes Racing. Every Stuart Hawes Racing car DNF'd in this race. Um, I have no idea. Reagan might be able to make it out of this one. Same goes for Blaney. Maybe um, Stenhouse Jr. But huge wreck. Absolutely huge. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Do you want to know how the absolute quickest RHG Cup Series commercial goes. I'll show you. It goes a little like, Target running done, boys! Wow! Blaney and David Reagan down pit road to go ahead and repair heavy damage on the front of their car. 14 cars remain in this race after the 19 field car wreck, or the 21 field wreck, leaving 18 cars DNFing in one wreck. Bush will start up in the front, and ladies and gentlemen, we will go ahead and send you to another quick commercial break. M&M's, M&M's. Skittles, taste the rainbow. I have a little help over here. Green flag out on a two-lap dash to decide your winner here in the All-Star Race at the FNX 600. Kyle Busch looking to get his second career RHG Cup Series win. The inside definitely with a better advantage to start off on this restart. Busch about to clear Bell and Logano's coming out of line here. This has to be the wackiest race ever. Now the kid from Oklahoma, Christopher Bell, made his first Cup Series start at Tulsa Motor Speedway in his home state. Maybe he's going to pull out to the lead here. Bell and Bush side by side and Logano with a great run on the outside. For those of you that haven't noticed, Porter Garrison missed this race because there was just issues with his car, both of his cars, and he just couldn't make the race. 
Here comes Kurt Busch to the inside. This is risky. I can't tell who has the lead right now. Kurt's on the inside. Kyle, watch out. Watch out, Kurt. Watch out, Kurt. I think Kurt just gave me a tire rub, guys. Very competitive, competitive battle for the lead here. I'm going with the 22 car who's currently leading. I don't know how this is going to go. We're still four wide right now. We'll see if Lagana can just pull this off here, try to get a good run on the back stretch. Lugano's got Truex working with them, and maybe even LaJoy and Reagan. I got you, kid. Don't worry. That was over Danica Patrick's radio talking about Christopher Bell there. Two people working with Christopher Bell here. It looks like Reagan let off the gas to go work with Christopher Bell there. Look at the non-selfishness of this, the whole pack right now all going to help Christopher Bell. Great pack racing right here. Eric Jones switched lanes there. Now he's working with Kyle and Matt. Here we go, heading into three and four. On board with the leader, Kurt Busch here, as he exits the turn, and he will lead us to the white flag, ladies and gentlemen. I might have been wrong here, as Logano's got a great run, and of course, some of the lanes have switched. Blaney moves to Logano. It looks like Kyle's going to try to push his brother, Kurt. And Logano takes the lead. Three wide battle up front. Quick look at the top fan vote. It does look like Joey Logano, and he's in the lead currently. Well, let's head right back to the action. They're entering turn one. Draft has now kind of broken up, and Logano should lead through the turn. Everybody moving in line here. Who's going to win it? And it looks like the top three drivers in contention to win are, are running really well in a single file line. Don't just leave the other Bush brother out yet. Getting ready to head to the back stretch. Logano just got to hold off Kurt mainly right now. I'm not calling any shots on our winner yet. Kurt's going to try to make a move here. Logano clearly not clear and he goes up the block. That was a dirty move from Logano. Kurt Busch was in contention to win. That's going to ruin the race for him. Suspension's all messed up. We're not winning this race now. Will anybody make a move? Nobody make a move. We're winning the race, boys. Logano still out front. Logano running through three and four onto the front stretch. But look, there's a long line. Danica Patrick leading that line. Elliot going low now. Logano not too far away. Logano is about 50 yards away from the finish. This is the distance from him in the finish line. Bell letting off the gas. Maybe he ran out of fuel. Bell with a good shot on the bumper of Joey there. He's got him up off the ground. The good old bump and run. Can Joey keep it straight? Bush may try to split the middle. It's going to be close. Joey's still loose. Joey still leads. Uh-oh. And now here comes Jimmy Johnson. Kyle Busch with a good run to the inside. This might be the closest RH2 Cup Series finish. And by about five inches, Christopher Bell wins $50,000 in a trip to the RHG Cup Series playoffs. We did it! Look at the playoffs! Let's go! Whoa! Yeah! 
Christopher Bell really happy about the win, and he gets to celebrate with his team. Now Christopher Bell gets to celebrate his first win of the season with the burnout, ladies and gentlemen. And that is probably my favorite burnout of the season. Well, anyway, congratulations to the number 95 Pro Core Toyota Camry of Christopher Bell for getting his first victory of the season and advancing to the playoffs. $50,000 is his. So he's going to finish first. And your finishing order, Jimmy Johnson in second, Kyle Busch in third, Danica Patrick in fourth year. I'll just scroll through the whole field for you. Yeah, Dale Jr.'s bad season will continue. We'll see if it gets any better or possibly any worse. Crazy race here at Talladega. All the, the backup cars brought on the track. Uh, points will be released soon. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're back up. So anyway, signing off from Talladega Super Speedway. We will see you next week. Or next race. The Phoenix International Raceway. Signing off from Talladega uh, in uh, Super Speedway. So long from the RHG Cup Series.